Today is February 18th. It's about 10 a.m. Sunday. We're just checking out my hotel here at Red Doors. But uh, it's Sunday. It's a day of prayer. But today I am not praying because I have something important to do. I am meeting Derek from Q Adventures and his hot Baba Rooney girlfriend. And also his two nieces who are 18 and 20 years old who live with Derek and his girlfriend. I am checking up on my NMAX today, which is being stored at Derek's house. And we're going to check all this out on video here. Derek has done me a huge favor by organizing not only the whole purchase, but also the aftermarket stuff. I mean, he's a hell of a guy. The aftermarket stuff is just like the decorations, you could say. I mean, hey, you know, I got to create the Scotty Mobile. You know, I can't be plain Jane. It was Derek's idea to paint the Crash Guard gold, which is the very disseminating thing about this scooter. We're going to check that out soon. The reason being, uh, you know, Nobody's got a gold crash guard because you can't buy a gold crash guard. You can, however, buy paint for three bucks and paint the black crash guard gold. Anyway, so we're going to check out the bike and the bike itself, if you're curious, was 3000 USD. The aftermarket stuff was about 200 USD. Now the obvious question, why get the aftermarket stuff now? I mean, you haven't even ridden the bike yet. Well, there's a very logical and simple reason for that. Once I hit the road, I'm not going to have an address in order to, you know, ship the shoppy products to or the Amazon products. So I may as well get them now while I'm waiting with the for the registration. You know, it's going to be about 30 more days or so. I still have to order some water shoes, okay? Because the in the Philippines, the law is you have to wear covered shoes if you're riding a scooter. And if I'm traveling the Philippines with sneakers, they will surely get wet and soggy. So water shoes are a perfect solution to be, you know, right with the law and also be comfortable. Or Crocs. Uh, but also the NMAX came with a helmet, okay? But I will get a different helmet in a mall, which is good. Because you can try it on to make sure it's comfortable before buying it. Yeah, thank you. Bye-bye. Okay, I was going to film down here, but I didn't know there was a naked guy down there, so I'm going to shut this sucker off. Shut the sucker up until I get to the coffee shop. As opposed to, you know, buying a helmet on Shopee, you know, you got to measure your own head. And, uh, you know, if you got to return something in Shopee, it's a big pain in the butt. I'm, you know, I'm not a safety kind of guy. I don't really care about covered shoes or a great helmet, but the helmet's more for comforts and the water shoes are, you know, to, to be good with the law. Anyways, so when it comes to the bike itself, in hindsight, I wish I just got like a used ADV bike in Angeles and ridden it south toward Davao. But, you know, many people said don't buy used in the Philippines. Okay, look, here's a tip on buying used scooters, okay? If you do buy a used scooter, buy from a nicely dressed Filipino who lives in a nice house. As I was going to do with an ADV bike in Angeles City, I did find a good bike. But, you know, the guy I met in Angeles who had the ADV, I, I felt his bike was a bit overpriced. But in hindsight, it was probably fairly priced considering the aftermarket stuff he put on there. And considering also I wouldn't have to deal with this uh, registration for the bike. But he was selling it for 140,000 pesos. My great friends. Is that okay to order one cup of coffee? Yeah. Okay, way to go. Okay, here we go. Uh, I'll get your same one as I always get. Is that a Guatemala? No. The it's the uh, Cafe Point Brandy. Uh, yeah. You want it hot, right? Yeah, I'll get that one, please. 150? 150, yes. Already. And with a used bike, you know, there's no waiting around for the registration. Just buy it and you're good to go. You don't even have to technically transfer the name over to your name. You can continue, you know, extending re the registration every year. It's okay, man. But thank you. Huh? Thank you. Thank okay, man. How about wife? What's that? Huh? What? You like, you like wife? Like wife? Oh, yeah, I like wife. wife. Huh? Yeah, you have a wife for me? Oh, okay, good. Very good. All right. Wife for you. Yeah, very good. Yeah, Filipina. Oh, very good. No, no. You like? Oh, maybe next time I'll get married. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, man, you're a good man. Thank you. You too, man. If I did buy a bike in the future, I will buy a used bike. I'm not going to go through this register. Hello. Hello. Yes, 
I know your sister. I was just saying hello to the family. Oh, you see it up there? It's okay. It's okay. Thank you. Okay, cool. Situation crap again. Anyways, in hindsight, you know, I do wish uh, I went with a lighter bike, like the Mio Gravis. I do like how nimble it is. You know, the NMAX seems like it's a bit heavy. Uh, but anyway, there are many advantages to having an NMAX, and one being that it's the most common scooter in the Philippines. So there are plenty of parts if it needs fixing, and it's easy to resell later on, especially if you soup it up a bit like I've done with the, you know, some cheap decoration stuff. It looks souped up. When I say the bike cost me like 3200 total, that is just like the price to buy it and fix it up. But I will sell it probably for 2000 bucks after riding it for a couple of years. So that would mean the total price is 1200 for unlimited freedom and all the custom comforts I want. Compare that to renting an NMAX. It would be like uh, three, $400 a month and no aftermarket comforts and a limit on where you can ride the scooter. So that equals to like four months of owning your own NMAX. If you consider the net cost of ownership with the purchase price minus the sale price, but yes, if you are here for like one month, like a one month trip, like in the Philippines, you, you just rent from Derek because Derek doesn't put limits on where you can ride the bike, like literally anywhere in the country for as long as you want. Derek thinks of everything. He even gives you like a helmet with a rain coating on the visor so you can see in the rain. And also his bikes are well taken care of so they won't break down in the middle of nowhere. Derek's business partner is a mechanic and tunes up the bikes after each customer. Okay, let's talk about what my travel plans are once the bike is ready. Of course, Plans always change, but as of now, I'm in Lapu Lapu City next to Cebu. Uh, when the registration is ready, I'm gonna head over to Ormoc Leyte, then to Billy Ran and Tacloban, then through Samar and check out some hot Samar bibs, then up through Bacol to Manila, then all around Luzon. At some point along the journey, I'll get an Airbnb for a month here and there and just chillax as traveling does take a big toll on your well-being and your health in general, as you don't know where you're gonna eat when you get to an New city. You just end up at McDonald's every day. And on top of that, you got a lack of sleep from, you know, different crap hotel rooms every night. Um, but anyway, after Luzon, I'll head down south again and hit some different cities on the way down south to General Santos. And I plan to spend a month in Jensen as I'm, I'm a big tuna fan and Jensen is the tuna capital. Anyway, that is it for this update, folks. Uh, adios to my great friends. A new video will be coming out very soon. The one and only wow that is a beaut even better in person hey wow okay thank you my friend no thank you thank you anytime man. unbelievable this is a beaut i'm telling you let me let me stick my uh i can't wait to sit down on here okay you so the to phone bag? Uh, can you grab the camera yeah for sure Thanks. this way uh yeah okay so how the hell this is a beaut because people cannot just grab it you know Jeez, I gotta sit down on this sucker. So sitting down on this was my dream. Um, on the line. When you see this bike, you know it's Scotty boy. Yeah, this is a, hey man, okay. For the first time, man, oh my god, this is a, wow. I can just go back like that. Oh, is that the Go 3? And I got a lot of stuff here. Okay, thanks. Okay, I will turn this sucker on. I will turn it on. Um, let's see here. Big enough, big enough, I guess. Is there a, oh, is this the key for here? No. Oh, it's the key for here? Yeah. What's the uh, physical one for? It's emergency in case this key fob um, Guys. runs out of, oh, yeah. Okay, so I'll just basically keep it down there. Under here. And then the, the keys to this is yep. inside. Okay, so how do I pop this sucker? There's a little button on the very bottom. Oh, there. Yeah. Newt's. That's the helmet. Oh, not bad. The helmet's not bad. It's functional. Yeah, it's functional. I know. I gotta get another one though. Only thing I'm worried about is uh, I wish I could move back more on this. I but still have the original seat if you are. <laughs> yeah, but it's better. Go ahead. Yeah, it's, it's more comfortable. But yeah. I want to see if I can uh, see if I can put the bag. Um. Here, honey, hold this out. I'm gonna. My... You want me to pull it out for you? No, it's okay. Okay. Something like this. I gotta like somehow hook this. Oh, it's got hooks here, so I can put a bungee around. Yeah. Wait, that's gonna be tight. No, I mean if I put some stuff in here, I got dirty clothes. 
Yeah. Is that okay? I can do it in your laundry machine? Yes. yes. Oh, okay. <laughs> Thanks so much. It's a huge help because if I bring it somewhere, they're going to take a day. Then yeah. I got to spend another day at the hotel. Yeah. Are you going to join us for uh, the, the, uh, lunch for me? Uh, it's very tempting, but I think it's going to take up too much time. Okay. Hello. Say hi. Hello, little girl. Okay, I gotta organize my uh, clothes here. That's okay. Kit's daughter. That's Kit's daughter. Huh? <laughs> okay. Yeah. Kit has a little daughter. Here we go. Can I put this at the end here, little girl? Who's your mommy, Natalie? Who's your mommy? Point your mommy. Who's your mommy? Ati Kit or Mama? Mama. <laughs> okay. Um, okay, so I'm gonna put uh, my dirty clothes. Uh, let me get a basket. Is there a basket? Right? Yeah. Okay, I'll turn this off. I don't wanna. Okay. Waste too much of this. Could you point this at me? I'm gonna be on the end next. It feels good. It feels good. It's really the culmination of months of research and then entrusting Derek with uh, the money to buy it, and he pulled through and everything is perfect. So, what a trustworthy, so happy, so happy that I'm, uh, I'm so happy that I, I know this guy. What a helpful guy. I mean, the thing with you is, you give so much and you ask so little, but why do you do this, Derek? I mean, most people, they ask a lot and they don't want to give anything. I've met a lot of these people, but why are you different? Um, I have to say, it's just always in my heart to, you know, like, help people. That's just the way I was raised. Okay, very good. Uh, short and to the, to the, direct to the, what, what the hell's that saying? Direct to the point. Short and sweet. Direct to the, okay. Direct to the point. Absolutely. Um, so Derek, uh, you got a scooter rental biz here, okay? Yeah. Now... Every time I come and visit you, it just keeps getting bigger and bigger and better and better. But but I don't want to ask about really the business, except I want to ask, why did you choose a scooter rental business? I mean, basically, you're an entrepreneur. You can do a hundred different businesses. But why did you choose the scooter rental business? I just I just want to know passion uh growing up i've always loved motorcycles and stuff like that i know these are not motorcycles they're scooters but nevertheless they're on two wheels so it's passion um i know i can open a restaurant and still be successful but i have no passion in that so uh i think the key element is passion right if you love cooking you would have opened a restaurant yes probably you right yes. okay um now uh one more question i got for you derek uh let's wrap this up what the hell were you doing in America before you came over here? <laughs> I was a professional job hopper, but uh, I was uh, a salesperson, a commission salesperson. Uh, but usually, you know, like I get involved with um, uh, jobs that, you know, like would benefit me personally. And uh, after two years, when I find, you know, like uh, I'm learn everything that I've learned about the industry, then I'm move, moving on to the next thing. So you were all about sort of uh, uh, getting in, making yeah. a big impact, mm -hmm. and moving on to something bigger and better. Correct. Okay, and so it led you here. Yeah. All that raising yourself up to bigger and better things has led you to the Philippines. Okay. Yeah. And uh, 10 seconds. What? Why the hell did you come to the Philippines? Um, I just feel like the Philippines, you know, I was here um, in 1987 as a seven-year-old in the immigrant, I'm sorry, in the uh, refugee camp. Yeah, I fell in love with it, came back as an adult, and fell in love with it all over again. Just the nature aspect, the island nation. So that's the major attraction. I'm going to point out on Google Maps where this actual location here is called Q Adventures. Uh, but that's the scooter rental business is called Q Adventures. Uh, but what the hell is your YouTube channel called? Also Q Adventures. Just want to keep things consistent. <laughs> Very good. Okay, and what the hell does Q stand for? Uh, Q is the first letter of my last name. Okay, Q Adventures. So here we are. You can come in this gate right here. Well, they basically have to, right? Yeah. And rent a scooter from this man. Yeah. Now, uh, one last question. Uh, hey, I am a thrifty mother, okay? Yeah. I'm a thrifty mother. Yeah. I can go down the road. I'm sorry, Derek, but I can go down the road 
and I can get these bikes for 100 pesos cheaper. Absolutely, but you're getting half the bike, uh, the USB doesn't work, the brake doesn't work, and um, you know, the tires are bald. So, um, you know, the quality difference is, uh, is big. And as you know, you know, like when you're on vacation or when you're in this land right here, you know, you don't want to take the chance of it breaking down and uh, wasting your time, you know, from your vacation. So if 100 peso savings per day is uh, worth it for you, then I'm not the business for you. Well, how much is 100 pesos anyway? Two dollars, US. Oh, two bucks a day <laughs> and you could save those two bucks a day or you could not be stranded in the middle of nowhere. Correct. Okay, well, there you go.